A debt dispute at the Dubai-based real estate investment trust Emirates REIT has come to a head with the company rescinding a swap deal after failing to get the full support from a group of dissenting creditors. Emirates REIT, the UAE's largest Sharia-compliant real estate investment trust, offered its Sukuk debt holders the option of exchanging their unsecured notes for a secured but longer-dated alternative seeking to bolster its balance sheet. But a group of 11 institutional creditors, which include names like Aberdeen Standard and Dubai Sancta Capital, rejected the terms of the $400 million restructure, saying their key questions weren't being addressed. What is the current status of the uh, investigation with the regulator? What is the basis of the valuation of the uh, assets of the REIT? What is the current liquidity position of the REIT? What is the business plan of forecast projections? So that it, what really concerns us the most is the uh, lack of transparency. The second thing that concerns, that concerns us is that we as, as stakeholders in the REIT are being asked to take on this additional risk and extend the debt without any clarity on how the debt is gonna be repaid even in 2024. Uh, while at the same time, the REIT manager is having their fees enshrined in a super senior manner to every, every other stakeholder, which is kind of a, you know, a, a tough one to reconcile, frankly. In a statement this morning, Equitativa Dubai, which manages Emirates REIT, says it will now continue to work on the capital structure for the benefit of its equity and debt holders. CNBC is asked to talk to management about the creditors' other concerns. Emirates REIT was downgraded by Fitch to a C rating just two weeks ago. Fitch saying that proposed debt deal would be a material reduction in the terms for lenders. Matt.